Hey everyone, we are now a month into summertime and flamingo prints are everywhere. I was inspired to do a very trendy print in neon colors that would be perfect for any beach or pool party and barbecues. So let's get these flamingo nails started. The products that I use to get this look are a yellow acrylic paint, a top coat, a base coat, a bright blue nail polish, a bright pink nail polish, and a white nail polish. You'll also need a striper brush and a toothpick to create dots and a Q-tip. The detailed info is in the description box. As always, I started by applying a base coat on all of my nails. Next, I applied two coats of a white nail polish to all of my nails. I'm using OPI in Alpine Snow. On my pinky, middle, and thumbnails, I used six pieces of striping tape. I placed two pieces of striping tape somewhat side by side to create a lightning bolt design. Next, I filled in the gaps with the blue and pink nail polish. I alternated blue and pink, and then on the other nails, I started with pink and then blue. If you don't have a thin brush, don't worry, just use the brush that the nail polish comes with. And don't worry about it getting all over your nail because you can clean it up later with a Q-tip and nail polish remover. I applied a second coat in order to make the nail polish opaque and even. I'm using Color Club nail polishes, and the blue is Endless Summer, and the pink is Modern Pink. I immediately remove the striping tape one by one to reveal the design. You can use your fingers or a pair of tweezers to remove the striping tape. I clean up any polish around the nail using a Q-tip dipped in nail polish remover. I used a small thin brush and a pink polish to create the flamingo design. To create the head and neck, I drew a backward letter S. I then extended the bottom of the S to create a sideways shaped oval for the body. At the bottom, I drew one straight line and one bent line for the flamingo legs. I drew a second flamingo closer to the tip of the nail. I used the yellow acrylic paint to create the beak on the flamingo's face. To make this look less boring, I filled in the white space with blue dots to make the flamingos really pop. Lastly, I added a top coat to all of my nails to protect my designs. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this design. If you decide to recreate it, please don't forget to hashtag D2102. While you're still here, please subscribe and check out my two latest videos. Bye!